hello in last video we created login form and after inserting successfully username and password it means correct username and password we open this MDA parent so now in this MDA parent right click in property and here we are going to do this alphabetical and then we need to open this in Maximized that okay now in this video I am going to show you how we can uh, add new user inside this project so we are going to create one new form add new item and now we are going to select this windows form and we are going to change your name add new user and add and we have to wait yeah it is load now we are going to take one panel and now we are going to change the background color of this form okay and now inside this we need to take text box but we need to check how many text box we, we have required so here in table in registration table we take one two three four five six six field and this id is uh, auto increment so uh, we don't require to take this but we need to take six text box for this so i am going to take this so we need six label and six text box this is the one copy paste 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 so now we have these six steps uh, six level and now again we need to take one more and we are going to add here now we need to take text words so i am going to take here text words this is the first text words now i copy this and then paste third four five and six we need to arrange that but before that we are going to arrange this label and according to label we are going to adjust these text words okay now sorry we need to select this label three four five six and now right click property and we are going to set the font size inside this we are going to use font size 10 and bold true now we are going to change the heading so for heading we need to keep this window also so we can see so first one we need first name so here first name then we need last name so click here and you need to change here now we need username then we need password then we need email and then we need contact yeah and now we are going to arrange these text box now we are going to set the size of this text box so select this old text box 1 2 3 4 5 6 and here also we need to pass font size 10 and bold row now we are going to increase this width and now select this level and here we are going to write add 
and now we are going to set the size of this 12 true so now we have this form and now we need to take one button it is not necessary that you can use the same color theme you can use uh, your desired theme bold true and I am going to write here 10 and then I am going to set the text add new user ok and now I am going to set the size so right now we have this form and now we need to uh, set this form as a startup so right click property and now sorry not here here in the solution explorer in this program.cs right now you can see the login page is a startup but now we are going to set in user is a startup so when i run this project this form will run as a startup let me check we are going to run this project first time today so it will take some time yeah you can see this form set as a startup now we need to pass here insert query so here we need to do database connectivity and uh, as per request um, I increase the font size so we can see easily using system dot data dot sql client and then here we need to pass sql connection c1 is equal to new sql connection and now here we need to pass the uh, database path so in server explorer right click here then property and you need to select this connection string copy and you need to paste here and yeah in page load event you need to pass if connection dot state is equal is equal to connection state dot open then connection close and now we need to open connection yeah now here we need to start our insert query but before insert query we need to check we want username as a unique username so we need to check when user going to press the insert button so first of all we need to check this username should be unique if same username user enter which is available in our table so we need to give error because we don't want to username as a same user now sql command cm dot create command then cmd dot command type is equal to cmd dot command text or do one thing just copy this all code copy I copy this code from login and now paste here and just remove these three lines yeah yeah, registration and we need to check username okay and now we need to check the text box name of username so here first of all we are going to check the name of these text boxes so first one is one two oh yeah three sorry we need in sequence you can see this is the third text box and this is the second text box so we are going to set here otherwise we can change the name also this is the third one fourth one fifth one and sixth one uh, for username it is a text box 3 ok so here we are going to write text box 3 and <coughs> here I uh, cut this text box if i is equal to 0 means this is and does not available then we need to pass here in sub query here we are going to pass in sub query but if same username user enter then we need to pass here error message this username already registered 
please choose another now we are going to check this will work or not then we are going to perform insert query so i am going to write here username amit i know this username is already registered and yeah we get here message now i am going to pass here amit one this user is not available so yeah then we are getting no error now we are going to perform here insert query so we need to copy this paste here and just we need to change here cmd1 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 and we need to pass here insert query insert into our table name is registration then values and we need to pass six values one two three four five six <coughs> sorry <coughs> sorry for that now you can see this id is auto increment so we don't require to consider this id so we have 1 2 3 4 5 6 so i take here 1 2 3 4 5 6 okay and now we need to pass here double quotes and then we need to pass plus plus sign plus 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 here also here also and here also and now we are going to pass here okay so here text box one dot text now here text box two dot text now here So we already passed this all text boxes and now we are going to pass here message message box dot show user record inserted successfully and uh, after inserting this record we need to empty uh, all text boxes so for that we are going to pass here text box on the text and we need to pass the whole text box is here 2 then 3 then 4th one then 5th one and then 6th one so now this registration form is ready now we are going to check it is working proper or not I am going to write yes we get message record inserted successfully and after completing this project uh, we will add uh, validation over here right now it is not needed so I am going to stop this project and now we are going to check the record is inserted in table or not. It will take some time to load. Yeah, you can see the second record is inserted inside this table. Now we are going to display all inserted record in this form. So now I am going to set this panel here. You can see the advantage of panel. If you are adding this whole control inside this panel, then you can directly move like this. 
now and now we are going to add data grid view over here now we need to uh, display all record over here so first of all we need to create one function public void display and now we need to pass here select query so i am going to copy this code and just paste here now only we need to write here select start from registration we don't require this where condition now data grid v1 dot data source is equal to dt and then data grid v1 dot data bind it is not required <coughs> now we are going to call this one's on in page load event so here and also we are going to call here now we are going to check we can see this two record we can see here now I am going to add one more record a a then b b then c c then d d e e at the rate gmail.com and one two three four five six seven eight nine zero add new user you can see we get here new record here so this way we can create this add new user form now we need to add this form inside this mdi form so in this mdi parent we don't want this so right click here and delete and now we need to edit this menu so click here and edit items right now we don't want this edit view tools window help we need only this file menu so here no problem we delete this file also and we are going to create here our menu user and here add new user and inside this double click on that I will show you again you need to just double click on this so you can see this uh, click event inside this MDA parent one and here we need to call our this add new user form so add new user au is equal to new add new user and then au dot show now we are going to set this login form as a startup again so here in this program.cs and now we are going to pass here log now we are going to check error sorry for that <coughs> now you can see we already deleted this so comment this line and now we are going to run again yeah you can see the form is loaded now we are going to pass our username password and then login you can see this form is md append is login and now we can call this form so this way you can create this add new functionality inside this project and now in my next video i am going to show you how you can delete the selected user from this project thank you so much for watching my video if you like my video then please like it and share it maximum so maximum people can use this project thank you so much again